Hello trainers, Professor Palm here, and welcome back to Summer Splash. I hope that all of you are finding good ways to beat this insane heat. That's why we're talking all about water type Pokemon, as I really want to cool all of you down. Boy, this is one of the hottest summers ever, all thanks to Groudon. On the bright side, there are plenty of other things that we can do to stay cool. Of course, a lot of us can stay inside with the air conditioning, but we can also go outside and maybe go in the lake or even the ocean. Even the pool sounds like a good idea. But I urge all of you out there to never forget to rehydrate. You need that to keep going. So yeah, maybe pick yourself up a nice glass of lemonade or even a nice glass of soda pop. These are wonderful drinks to have during the summertime. However, if you don't really care for the calories, we always have some nice fresh water. Whenever I think of cold drinks, you know what comes to my mind immediately? Ice type Pokemon, which are a great way to stay cool. You know what's kind of interesting about ice type Pokemon? We actually have the least amount of ice type Pokemon than any other typing currently. And also, even though ice typing existed as early as generation one, we didn't get our first pure ice type Pokemon until the third generation. And it wasn't until we got Snowbrite and Glalie along with Regice. You know, looking back and all things considered, ice type Pokemon have come so far. If you really think about it, We've had an Ice-type Pokemon expert introduced in almost every region, all except for the Alola region. We've either had an Elite Four member or even a Gym Leader that specializes in Ice-type Pokemon. Also, since so many pseudo-legendary Pokemon are Dragon-type, and some of us need an Ice-type to take it down, it's played a major role for that, whether it be a Gym Leader, an Elite Four member, or even the Champion. But looking back at where it all began, I remember meeting my very first Ice-type Pokemon in the Kanto region at the Seafoam Islands. I'm of course talking about our little slippery seal friends, Seal and Dugon. Wow, looking back, it's pretty cool to think that our very first Ice-type Pokemon actually came from the Arctic. Really think that Seal and Dugon are such a great line. This is a good line to also help us really cool down. Their ice type moves and their water type moves are a perfect combination. Speaking of which, did you know that water and ice is the most common typing for ice type with a total of eight? Well, what can you say? Ice and water go together perfectly. I just hope that all of you out there that really want to cool down have your Arctic gear ready. It's going to be very, very cold whenever you encounter Seal or even Dugon. These Pokemon really like it nice and cold. Even the water they go into is as cold as the drink you have. You ever want to know what it's like to be an ice cube? Well, now you will. And I gotta say, both these Pokemon kind of make you think of ice cubes, especially when they swim. Oh, and don't even get me started of how amazing swimmers these Pokemon are. Since Seal and Dugon only go swimming during the night, there is so much beauty of the Arctic. I really do love snowy nights. I know it's the summertime, but who doesn't want to go back to when it's nice and cool? So why don't we go into the frigid waters and see everything that we've been missing at the Arctic during the night. But before we begin, I just want to give a very special thanks and shout out to my fellow subscriber, Puffy Sparkles. I know how much you love Seal and Dugon, so I hope that this video has your seal of approval. However, Puppy Sparkles, you're not the only one that I'm going to be thanking today. I also want to give a very special thanks and shout out to artist Tecranova for my shirt. Today's Within shirt I'm wearing is the Water Turtle Within. Since we're talking about Kanto water type Pokemon, I thought we'd go back to the basics of the first water type Pokemon ever. If you really like these shirts that I wear, you can buy them on Etsy. I have a link to Tecranova's Etsy shop in the description below. I really can't stand silly stock image t-shirts. Wear something that looks really good like this to show how great of a Pokemon fan you are. And remember to say, Professor Palm sent ya. You ready to go for a cool night swim in the Arctic trainers? Well, with us, we have two wonderful teachers today. So let's learn how to do it seal style with the slippery little Arctic seal itself. Seal! Seal the sea lion Pokemon is based on exactly what its name is, a sea lion. They also are very similar to that of harp seal pups due to their white and icy fur. Seal also shares some characteristics to beluga whales while the horn on its head also draws inspiration from narwhals. And because of those tusks, Seal also has some walrus thrown into the mix. 
If you want to find a seal in the wild, I suggest going to places where it's cold, as seal love the cold. You could find seal living on icebergs as they love the frozen feeling all around them, and they can also be found swimming in frigid ocean waters. Most seal have a rather playful nature, as they enjoy sliding across icebergs and doing tricks underwater. They also like splashing one another, just to show how playful they truly can be. The beautiful light blue fur coat that covers seal keeps it protected against the cold. However, these lovely coats can become pretty and white the more they lay on the icebergs in the frost and when it snows. As one can see, seal only has two flippers and no legs, so it can't walk well on land as it's very slow. However, once it jumps into the water, it's a graceful swimmer and extremely fast as it can swim up to speeds of 20 miles per hour. Seal loves the freezing cold conditions. In fact, it loves swimming in the freezing climate of the cold. They also like to swim in water as cold as temperatures of only 14 degrees. The colder it gets, the better seal will feel, as some of them really like swimming in the depths of the freezing water. They also like it when things are pitch black and cold. It's no secret that swimming is seal's favorite thing to do. Whenever they go in the water, it closes its nostrils while it goes for a swim, and it doesn't really have to come up for air, as some seal can hold their breath for as long as 30 minutes to an hour underwater. When looking at seal's head, you may notice that it has a horn on its head. Seal's horn is extremely hard and is used for bashing the thickest of icebergs. They use their horn not just for battle and not just for hunting, but bashing ice when they need to catch their breath. Also, when looking at Seal's face, you'll notice it has two sharp tusks. These tusks are as sharp as its horns. They can easily bite ice, and sometimes these tusks are used for hunting when they catch fish Pokemon. They use their tusks very similar to that of a kebab. Seal eats two times more than its body weight a day. This is to help them get more thick blubber to keep them warm in the cold. This also helps them grow nice and even heavier fur coats. Seal are more active during the night than they are during the day. And because of this, seal have superior night vision. During the day, seal sleep together all clumped up like a big ball of blubber. The reason for seal being nocturnal is because they do not take well to the warmth of the sun or even warm waters. In fact, seal swimming in warm waters get tired pretty easily. So yeah, if you have one, don't take it to Alola. Seal debuted in the Adventures in Orange Island series episode, Misty Meets Her Match, where a seal was caught in a whirlpool alongside with its trainer, Mary, but they were rescued by Misty and her star you. Seal sure loves the freezing temperatures of the ocean, as well as being around all the ice. It loves ice so much that as time goes on, it becomes a part of it, because through evolution, they gain the ice typing. So let's evolve our little seal into Dugon. This is one frosty seal Pokemon. And with Dugon's new acquired typing of ice, you better bundle up because a cold front is coming in. Dugon the sea lion Pokemon is based, like its species name is, on a sea lion. It also is based on a harp seal due to its white and icy fur, as well as its habitat. It's also very similar to that of a mermaid. Dugon also shares characteristics of a beluga whale and a narwhal, and its tusks are also inspired by a walrus. If you want to find a Dugon in the wild, I suggest going to places that it's cold, as Dugon love the extreme temperatures. You can find them living on icebergs and glaciers, as they love the frozen feeling of ice all around them. They also can be found swimming in the frigid ocean waters. And for the things that they love to eat the most, Dugon have a diet of wishy-washy. The colder the temperature around Dugon is, whether it be in the water or the air, the friskier it becomes. Some Dugon never outgrow their playful nature they had as seal, as they love playing in the snow. Despite all that blubber, Dugon's streamlined body has low resistance against the water, and Dugon's tail is very important for when it swims. You see, Dugon uses its long tail to easily change its swimming directions. Dugon swims easily in icy waters, it doesn't matter how cold it is, Dugon loves it. They're exceptionally skilled swimmers as they're able to reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. And if Dugon goes underwater, you might be waiting a while for it to resurface as they can hold their breath up to three hours. For a lot of us, it's really hard to get into icy cold water. No matter how cold the water gets, 
Dugon is unaffected by this intense cold. This is all thanks to Dugon's thick blubber and thermal energy that it stores within its body. Speaking of its body, a lot of us are really blown away by Dugon's snowy white beautiful appearance. But did you know that Dugon's beautiful white fur gets even brighter during the winter? The reason for this is the snow. Since they like to play in the snow and they sleep with the snow falling on them, that gives them a beautiful shine. However, the more they go underwater, a lot of ice sticks to their body, melting it into something even more for them. While Dugon love eating fish and are predators, they also have enemies that hunt it. So, in the snow, their pure white snow covering helps them hide from the predators. When they're all curled up, it looks like a tiny little pile of snow. Dugon loves the ice so much that they tend to snooze on bitterly cold ice. The sight of this Pokemon sleeping on a glacier and its tail was mistakenly thought to be a mermaid long ago by an explorer in the Arctic. You may notice that Dugon has a horn on its head. While it may not be big as the one it had when it's seal, it's still just as sharp as ever. The same thing with their tusks. Even though both their horns and tusks have gotten a little smaller, they're still just as sharp as ever, as Dugon can smash through an iceberg in just a single charge. Looking back to its previous evolution in Seal, Dugon are more active during the night than they are during the day. Some sleep on icebergs, while some sleep on the shallow ocean waters. And during the night, they like going out and looking for food. While Dugon are most active during the night, there are some that are awake during the day, and there are even some that go sunbathing on beaches, which is kind of strange. However, some studies have shown that the rise in body temperature is great for digestion. Dugon debuted in the Pokemon Masters Quest episode, Cold as Price, where Gym Leader Price and Ash had an unofficial battle. Dugon was one of the Pokemon he sent out, and Ash took it on with his Pampy, where Dugon won in a flawless victory. We have so many amazing Pokemon in our world, and every one of them has some cool facts and tidbits to talk on. So, here's a few fun facts and tidbits about our Slippery Seals, Dugon, and Seal. Seal is the first pure water type Pokemon in the Pokedex to be based on a mammal instead of an amphibian or a sea creature. Dugon is the first ice type Pokemon to appear in the Pokedex at number 87, and it also was the first Pokemon to gain the ice typing through evolution. Both Seal and Dugon have the same abilities, being either Thick Bat, which has the damage when taken by a Fire type or an Ice type move, and they can also have Hydration, which cures their status condition as long as it's raining. Oh, and speaking of cool things about them, they each have the same hidden ability, Ice Body, which gradually regains HP in either a Hailstorm or a Snowstorm. They're also currently the first non-pure Ice type Pokemon to have this ability. Despite being a pure water type Pokemon, before the fourth generation, Seal could not learn a single water type move through level up. In the core series games, Dugon appears on the teams of ice type experts, Elite Four member Lorelei and Gym Leader Price. Dugon is Lorelei's first Pokemon she sends out when you battle her at the Indigo Plateau in the Kanto games, while Dugon is the second in command of Price's gym team when you battle him at the Mahogany Town Gym. And Seal and Dugon's names are the names of the real creatures they're based on. However, they're just misspelled. Swimming in those frigid waters would make anyone feel safe, especially Seal and Dugon, since so few Pokemon ever jump into there. However, almost no Pokemon is without a weakness. But Seal and Dugon are split, as Seal is a pure water type Pokemon, while Dugon is a water and ice type Pokemon. With Seal's typing of pure water, when it goes into battle, it has only two weaknesses to attacks, which are Grass type and Electric type. Only two weaknesses for Seal, which isn't too bad for this Pokemon. However, when it undergoes evolution and turns into Dugon, it gains a brand new typing of Ice, but also gains some new weaknesses. Of course, it still has the same weaknesses it had when it was a pure water type Pokemon, with the weakness to moves which are grass type and electric type, but now it has a total of four weaknesses, gaining two brand new ones being to moves which are rock type and fighting type. Both Seal and Dugon have different weakness pools. While they have different weaknesses, they also learn a lot of moves of their typings, Thanks to the Generation 4 games, at first they couldn't learn any water type moves through level up, but now, since they do, this really gives them an edge in a battle. 
Thanks to the fourth generation finally giving Seal some water type moves to learn through level up, as well as being a pure water type Pokemon, it learns some good water type moves, giving it some strong stab against Pokemon who are fire type, rock type, and ground type. It's good that Seal has more strengths over weaknesses, but as time goes on, it gets even stronger. So let's evolve Seal once again into Dugon. Now with its added typing of ice, it has more strength as its stab water type and ice type moves are super effective on other Pokemon who are fire type, flying type, rock type, grass type, ground type, and dragon type. Doubling its strengths is always a good sign. Now you'll see why Dugon is such a powerful fighter. Because when this Pokemon uses its ice moves, it becomes cold as ice. Crazy to think that the ice typing all started with Dugon and Seal all the way back in the first generation. However, what makes them really cool is that they were also the first water type Pokemon based on mammals. Looking back, we really needed some good Arctic Pokemon and both Seal and Dugon were the perfect choice. I'm honestly surprised that we don't have that many other Seal Pokemon. Sure, we have the Walrin line and the Poplio line, but seeing that there are so many others out there, we really need more. I think Seal and Dugon need more friends in other cooler parts of the world. Seeing that we only have 58 Ice-type Pokemon out of over a thousand, we really need to visit more ice-cold regions. Seal and Dugon really need more time to shine. Since Seal and Dugon are both nocturnal Pokemon of the icy areas, they must see such amazing sights deep underwater, as both of them have great night vision. Usually when it gets too cold, we turn back. When it gets too cold for either Dugon or Seal, they just keep going. And imagine what kind of wonders they see deep below the ice. I'm sure that they've seen a beautiful northern light show, but imagine what lurks behind the ice and what other mysteries we've been missing. While Seal started off as a pure water type Pokemon before gaining the ice typing through Dugon, I think that water and ice is a great combo, and they're proof that how much more we need ice type Pokemon. I really hope that in the future we get another region based off the Arctic or someplace that's very, very cold. If you go to a cold place and make friends, I hope that you make friends with the Seal and Dugon, as you'll explore many mysteries under the frozen oceans, and you might as well go for a chilly night swim with these slippery seals. <laughs> oh, hello traders, welcome back. I enjoyed my night swim in the Arctic, but boy, was it freezing. <sighs> I really need to warm up. <laughs> kind of ironic that it's so hot, yet it can be so cold, you can never find the in-between. Well, before we end this, I just have a few questions for all of you. Have any of you ever used Seal or Dugon before in any of your playthroughs? Did you have good experiences with it? Or is it a Pokemon that you really don't care about? Out of all 1,026 Pokemon, only 58 of them are Ice-type. Isn't that crazy? Do you think that we need more Ice-type Pokemon? Or do you not really care for Ice-type Pokemon? Since Dugon was the first Ice-type Pokemon ever, and seeing that ZNA is bringing back Mega Evolution, do you think that it deserves to go Mega? If we got another Pokemon line based on seals, which type of species should it be based on? Also, should it be Ice-type or should it be Water-type? Isn't it crazy that despite Seal being a pure Water-type Pokemon, it couldn't learn a single Water-type move, but could learn so many Ice-type moves? Do you think that it should have been a Water-Ice-type Pokemon itself? And since both Seal and Dugon are water types, and the water typing has been paired up with all other types as of Generation 6, what do you think is the best typing paired up with it? Puffy Sparkles, thank you so much for giving me the idea to do this video. I'm sure that both Seal and Dugon loved it very much too. And if you liked what you saw, then please leave a like. If you have any questions you want to answer the questions I just threw at you, you want me to cover another water type Pokemon or another Pokemon line, or you have an idea that you want turned into a video or for me to cover something in the current events of Pokemon, then please comment. And as always, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, smash that subscribe button. Well, I think that we're cooling down a little bit now, but we still have the whole month of June to get through, and Summer Splash will continue. So soak up the fun, trainers, and thanks for watching. Palm out.